this project is based on the XEM Access Controller version 2 from DangerousThings.com, which is more or less plug and play and can control virtually any switch device through a relay on the PCB. The controller is programmed by first instructing it which two master key fobs it should recognize, and then it can be taught to recognize individual access tags, fobs, or implants sure. by scanning the first access fob, followed by the implant, followed by the first fob again. After that, the implant can be tested, and here it's shown to activate the relay as expected. I'm using the controller to activate my garage door opener. Ideally, I want an invisible flush-mounted transceiver coil on the outside of the door frame, but I don't currently have a router and I don't want to try hand carving a recess. So for now, I'm just mounting the coil on the surface and covering it with a 3D printed lid. The wire for the coil is passed through the wooden door frame to a convenient place inside the garage where the controller will be. I want a bit of a gap between the coil and the door, so I'm drilling an oblique hole with the help of a drill guide I made from some plywood. Unfortunately, my drill bit isn't long enough, but it feels like it's less than a centimeter from what I need. I tried using pliers to drive the drill in a bit further, but that was a bit of a farce. So I managed to find a nail that with almost the same diameter as the drill bit and hammered that through the rest of the way. Now I have to confirm the circuit actually works in principle with the door opener. This opener has two screw terminals on the back and when they're connected, the door opens. Uh, it already has a momentary switch wired up to the screws, so all I need to do is connect the relay wires, to, uh, the common and normally open terminals on the relay, from the PCB to the same screws on the machine. The controller board runs off a 9 volt battery, but I'm planning to use a mains power adapter for the 9 volt supply in the long run. Uh, now I test the complete setup. I need a convenient and tidy way to mount all the electronics, so I'm using the 3D printer to make a box. In Fusion 360, I designed this box, which has a hole through its back to hang it on a screw head, two screw pillars inside to attach the PCB to, and a hole on the side, which will be where the power socket sits. I use Prusa Slicer to set a pause in the print so I can insert the PCB and the power socket at the correct time. The printer then seals the power socket into the wall of the box. Here is the exterior cover for the transceiver coil, and inside is the box with the electronics. On the left are the coil wires coming out of the top is the wiring to the door opener and I've run that through the roof space and on the right is the power supply and just like that it all clicks together.